Hey folks, welcome back to DCS. So if you've been with the channel for a while, then you'll probably know that I really, really, really like the F5E. I can't really explain why I like it. I think it's just something about it being largely a gun-based fire in a, an environment where it's facing stuff that's primarily using missiles, and I just enjoy succeeding with a handicap, I think. I'm just very pro-underdog. And also a lot of people say that they dislike the F5 because it has like myriad bugs that haven't been looked at in ages, the textures could use an update and all that kind of stuff and I just feel bad for it I want to give it a little bit of a hug a pat on the head and just say you're alright by me let's go wreck some faces and that's exactly what we're going to do over the next month and a half or so I'm planning on doing a five part series looking at the F5. I had two sessions. One I went 15 for three. We're going to examine that today. That's what this video is going to be. And then I had a 35 kill with zero death session where Sovereign was acting as GCI for me. And that's what the next four episodes in the series are going to be about. So this video is being placed in a playlist named something like the time I went 35 for 0 on Enigma's Cold War server. Sub if you want to see the rest of the series, but this is this is part one. I was flying solo, I didn't have Sovereign with me. There was actually someone in the GCI slot for this session, but I was playing quite late at night. Uh, the family were in bed. Didn't really want to wake them up by talking on the radio a lot. So I was listening, uh, but I wasn't responding. You guys got a GCI? Negative. All right, Magic Sunrise. By that man of the earth. Okay, so first kill. Very easy. We managed to sneak up on this MiG-21. He's completely unawares. He is unfortunately just launching a Fox 2 on a teammate, which he does kill. So we're going to get a swift vengeance for that friendly. Once we get close enough, I can tell from the smoke from his engine that he's not in burner, so I'm not too concerned about catching up to him. And because it's quite cold, as you can tell from the snow, your jet, missiles, everything performs much better because when it's cold, the air is thinner, less energy is lost to heat because obviously the cold is stopping stuff from getting hot as quick. And you really feel the difference, like you will accelerate quicker, you will fly faster, you can climb better. Where it has bit me in the arse in this video, as we'll get to in a bit, is that the F5 rips its wings off if you pull too hard above about 450 knots. And my muscle memory is such that I don't expect to hold a speed above that through turns for very long. So I was thinking that I was going slower than I actually was, and I ended up pulling past that point because of you know, my misunderstanding of my speed and I ripped my wings off. It happened twice. Could have been better, but anyway. So we're engaged in this MiG-21. I'm much faster than him and I don't want to overshoot. So every time we get close and he keeps turning, if I pulled harder, I'd risk ripping my wing off. And I'd also be bleeding a lot of speed off. And the F5's engines aren't quite as good as the MiG-21's, so it takes a little bit longer to recoup your energy. So it's very important in the F5 that you manage your energy ex extremely well like it's your top priority really to make sure that you're not unnecessarily wasting it by pulling too hard when there's no need. So if you're uh, faster than someone, it's better to like yo-yo them by climbing up, bleeding some energy off and then diving back down to retain it. We got this guy slow, but right at the point we're going to get guns on, we get fox would So, first death. We're back up and we're chasing down a Mirage F1. So here... I know I'm pretty far away, but I'm just testing the waters to see what kind of extended range I can get out of the AIM-9B when it's this cold. But I think I am kind of shooting it into the wind here, which probably hasn't helped a huge amount either. And then the second one, I didn't realise he was turning until after I'd fired, so that one was just a huge waste. I'm trying to pull some lead here, but I don't want to pull too hard in case I rip my wings off. He reverses his turn. I didn't want to cross in front of him, so I pulled a little harder to cross behind and then that sort of pushed me past that threshold and ripped my wings off. Not, not ideal. Nine. Let's dodge and merge. So here the GCI has directed me towards this Mirage F1. There's another F5 with me right now. We're going up and over. I tend to merge vertically with things just so I can turn the 
energy into altitude because then when I dive back down I get the energy back. It is actually in MiG-21, I misspoke. As he crossed my nose he was still climbing. I don't need to climb with him because climbing is just going to bleed my speed off. If he's going to come back down again I'll just flat turn and wait for him to do that. Bit of a waste of the missile on that one, I didn't really expect that one to reach but again you never know. Missiles perform better when it's cold, just like the aircraft does, so it's worth a punt sometimes. And here we get into a bit of a rate fight with the MiG-21. So here I'm climbing because I don't want to overshoot. I, I can tell that I'm faster than him. And our speed is just bleeding below 500 knots now. The F-5 maneuvers extremely well above about 400. I'm diving back down to pick the speed up even further, but the MiG is still turning so as my speed starts to bleed back below 500, below 450, closing towards 400. You'll see that he starts to pull away from me in the turn as my speed gets lower. So what I'm going to do is ease off on purpose to get my speed back up which will make it appear as if he is winning the rate fight and he will feel that he's winning the rate fight. But what I'm actually doing is picking the speed back up to allow me to pull much harder and really rein him in through the later stages. So here, as our speed bleeds below about 450, I start to dive through my turn, and I pick my speed back up above 450. MiG-21 sees me gaining through the circle, so he starts pulling a lot harder, and I can tell now that he's extremely slow, so I'm going to climb up so that I can dive back down through the turn, regain more energy through the turn rather than losing it through the turn as he is doing. He's right on the deck, he's out of altitude, he can't die for energy, and he still has to turn to avoid being shot by me. There's not really a lot he can do. We managed to clip him with a high deflection shot there, and shoot all of his pylons off. Not sure what that did for his fly dynamics, but he's wallowing, he's very, very slow. I only have AM9Bs, but even they aren't going to struggle too much to pull lead on a target that's that slow. After that kill I'm a little bit blind on my situational awareness so we're just going to keep turning just in case there's someone behind me that I'm not aware of. Missiles on the server are kind of shitty enough that if you just keep turning they're, they're going to miss, you're going to dodge them by accident. And the EWR reports tell me that there's a guy roughly in front of me within about 3 miles and there he is crossing the nose. He isn't in burner, I can tell that from the smoke he's kicking out. And as we get closer I can see that he still has a tank on, so he's just freshly arrived to the fight a little bit late. Doesn't have any situational awareness, maybe he doesn't have a GCI, I forgot to turn his EWR reports on. But we're just going to chase him down, wait for him to turn to make it easy to hit him, and I don't think he was expecting the hit, so all the damage, and he just loses control and decks it into the ground. Nice easy second kill. Hey Misty flight advice, you guys fly east. A little bit later on and the GCI has directed me towards a three ship of friendlies that are in need of some assistance because there are a bunch of fish beds and Mirage F1s harassing them a little bit. I hear something merge with me so I turn around. Through the turn I spot this spec heading from left to right. The EWR reports as well as the GCI confirm that it's hostile and I can see visually that it is a Mirage F1. Don't have any missiles left, so we're just gonna have to chase him down. I can tell that I'm faster because I am gaining ground on him. He isn't in afterburner, so I'm just gonna pull a little bit of lead and cut his turn off, and that'll help me close the gap even faster. As he climbs, we'll just punch in the burner and follow him up. Continue pulling lead, continue cutting his circle, continue closing the gap. Misjudge the lead a little bit and give my position away, and he starts jinking. But the Mirage F1 is a much larger, much heavier aircraft than the F5. So we're just going to stick on a 6. We can pull hard to bleed speed intentionally in order to stay behind him. And before too long, he will just be like a wallowing sitting duck. And you see here, he starts to go vertical before he puts his burner on. He's just... nothing he can do. We just completely chew him apart with the 20 mils. After that, we go back for a rearm because our fuel was pretty low. And immediately off the runway, there is a huge furball of about 6 aircraft. You've got a Vigan and three MiG-21s. The back of the pack is actually a Mirage F1. So we go for him first, go for the rear ones, they don't know that we're here. Mirage F1 fires on the Vigan and kills him. 
Second in the queue is a MiG-21, so we fox on him and kill him. Third is a MiG-21. I think the Vigan killed one of the MiG-21s as well. I was really hoping this would be an amazing, clean three-piece, but obviously I had to go and fuck it up. And I'm so much faster than this guy, but I'm too close to use the yo-yo technique that we talked about. Thankfully he turns away, so I do get another stab at him, but I'm still going way too fast, like faster than I can line up for a shot. So I do clip him like th maybe three times, but I have to pull up and away. And he does go in, but the saber gets the credit. Not solid at all. So here we are going to go up and then back down. But oh my god, really? I was a bit faster than I thought I was, and I ended up running wide. But, I think I've shaken the rust off now, I've got all that out of my system. So now we're going to look at a 6 kill soy, which we do actually survive. And then the next video will be the first of the 35 kill session. So we're taking off from Gale. Once we are off the ground, we're just going to immediately raise the gear, and I like to manually raise the flaps because they stay down for a little bit too long if you have them in auto. I tend to take off with them in fixed, which just uses the leading edge slots. And it's all just in aid of keeping your speed as high as possible and aiding the aircraft's acceleration, so we're raising the flaps manually, we're turning the nav lights off, and we're just heading into the AO. We have a MiG-21 running coal three miles, I do have visual. We have the flaps manually raised, we're in the burner, and we just basically want to stay above 500 knots at all times, unless we're in a turn fight. And even then we want to stay as close to that as possible. The F5 gets slow very easily if you pull too hard, but if you stay fast, it's actually a very energy efficient little bird, it's a very sleek design. I actually chased down a Mirage F1 at like 40k the other day. Probably in part because the cold environment helps the uh, the flight dynamics, but the point is, it's a lot better than a lot of people give it credit for, and a large part of that is because most people who fly it just leave it in auto flaps the whole time, which just unnecessarily bog you down when you could be getting your speed back up. So he chased this MiG-21 down, nice easy missile kill. All those contacts up ahead are actually friendly, so we're going to cut ahead to the next engagement. The GCI tells me to look to my 1 o'clock at 8,000 feet, and we spot this guy, so props to the GCI for helping with that one. And I do think he's aware of me at this time, because he is pulling up and around. I'm not going up with him, I don't need to keep going up, I'll just bleed more speed if I climb, so I'm just going to continue diving. I know he's going to come back down on me if he wants to engage me anyway. There is a Vigan on his 6. He re he reverses his turn because of the Vigan, but that just puts him in front of me, and then we just get the guns on him. Get a, quite a few nice hits there, and he ejects. We do get the credit for that kill. You can see Sabre and a Vigan frolicking around with us as well. Cutting ahead, and we've got a friendly Sabre merging with the MiG-21 up ahead. We're going to try and get some shots in on the, in the head-on, but don't fancy my chances particularly. It's quite a difficult shot. No connections. I'm very, very fast, so I'm going to flat turn, because I actually would like to lose a little bit of speed to aid my maneuverability if we get into a prolonged fight with this guy. Checking my 6 just in case there's other stuff around. This MiG-21 wasn't very fast, he's, I don't know why he's just flying straight, but we're just going to ignore him. Look behind me because I was worried about this thing, but it's just the Sabre. Just the Sabre following me. That missile did connect that we just fired, but like Iron Man I'm cool and I don't look at explosions, so. Dodge, 11 o'clock. GCI again calling out 11 o'clock, so we can see there's a MiG-21, there's, there's actually two of them, and they're both rating with the Sabre. So Sabre's close, MiG-21, both of them are turning left. No need to keep going up with that one, we're actually going to start diving before he does, just to retain the energy a little bit better. 
And the reason I'm focusing on this one is because he's behind the Sabre, not in front. So I'm going to hope that the Sabre can handle the other one. Because he's clearly turning with something. And we're going to focus the guy that's focusing the Sabre. Oh, I do get some nice hits there. Mig 21's pretty slow. I'm actually easing off the throttle here. When they start salmon fishing around like that, it's because they're very, very slow. They're pulling too hard. So rather than overshooting and coming back in, I know his energy is really shit, so I'm just going to slow down and stay behind him. We get some more hits. And he goes straight into the ground. So now I'm looking out for that other MiG-21 that was with the Sabre. I can see something high my 6. So coming around. There he is. Not sure where the Sabre got to. Oh, he's there, look. Where's that? That might be another MiG-21. Pulling vertical, Rambo, if we go up we can come back down, so we lose energy going up but we get it back, coming back down, so turning around vertically is quite an efficient way of doing that. He is on to us, don't quite manage to get the nose around enough to get a shot. He's very slow though, like very very slow. I'm slow too but he is actually like salmon fishing around up there. So I'm just taking my time turning around. I'm not sure he knows where I am, that's quite an odd aspect for him to have dived down. I think he's just trying to get his energy back, but he's just put himself in front of me. He still has a fuel tank on. Managed to clip his left wing and knock his pylons off. Clip his fuselage. He's very slow, so just going to go up. Purposely delaying the turn just to allow him to create some separation so that we're staying behind him rather than pulling in front. Checking six. And he ejects before we can finish him off. Never going to be too upset about that one. And then he explodes, his corpse explodes, which makes me worry that I was launched on but the missile tracked him instead of me. And the EWR reports do say that there was another MiG-21 within 0.2 miles, which is extremely close. That's a friendly F5. And the way he pulled away makes me wonder whether he's just spotted something, or maybe he's trying to evade something. So I focus on him for probably longer than I should have. And then we look around, we're trying to find the MiG-21. I know he's around here somewhere. Player dodge. Uh, you got two coming at you, one from the north and one from the south. GCI's just said that there's one coming from north and one from south. Obviously we do have a friendly with us. I'm kind of extending for energy here. Three, four, two for two, and one, eight, three for three, both hot. So they're the two that the GCI just mentioned. Just turning. If we keep turning, then we can't be killed by missiles unless we're very unlucky. And here I can see the MiG-21 just merge with me, so we're going to come up. And then as we look behind, I can see there's another one behind me, so I'm going to immediately ignore the one that I was turning on and focus on the one that's on my 6. We were carrying quite a lot of energy into that climb, more than he had, and he seems to have abandoned the chase immediately, which works well for me. I reckon I can get the shot here, so we pulled pretty hard. That was quite risky, because we were bleeding a lot of energy off for potentially no payout. But he is extremely slow. Managed to pull him in. Very lucky shot there. And another one. Hit him three times with three squeezes of the trigger. And he's down. And a friendly ends up mopping up the other one. So we end up just heading back to base with low fuel. Six kills in a sortie. Hope you enjoyed that one, folks. If you want to see more, then check out the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more. I've just created a playlist for the 35 and 0 sortie. So the next few videos, including this one, will all be going into that. I've got some shorts planned for the next week, as well as over the next month and a half, the rest of those videos. If you want to help support the channel, you can become a channel member for early access to videos. Members Discord, you can hop in the Discord regardless if you want to get stuck into some, uh, some teamwork stuff with comms. Hit that thanks icon if you want to donate as a one-off payment or if you want to get something for your money why not check out our Air Models affiliate link buy yourself a model but uh, thanks a lot for watching folks and I will see you in the next one cheers